Thank you, Baba. That's a way too generous introduction. Not sure I deserve. And uh, more importantly, I'm incredibly humbled to, to be here. But may I tell you, uh, at the same time, I feel some pressure, as uh, Tina would say. This is a very hot spot for me because um, those incredible stories uh, made me wonder, but what exactly a car executive is doing here? Uh, we've heard uh, um, from a lot of uh, brave officers, but I'm a chief marketing officer, and a chief marketing officer is not known for bravery. <laughs> and uh, even uh, worse, it's not just marketing, it's marketing cars. So you might wonder if uh, from up here, I'll try to sell you a minivan, <laughs> which uh, leaves us uh, with a question. What is a car company doing here at a summit about heroes and uh, courage? Well, I'm here because I believe compassion doesn't belong only to individuals. I'm here because of a belief, a belief that leaders of our corporations must be guided by the same beacons that define the virtues of a hero. The belief that a company uh, like ours can have heart. The belief that companies should stand uh, for more than just a balance sheet. Now, this being said, I'm also accountable for the balance sheet. And the uh, good news is, I discovered that a company uh, that stands for values can actually create value. So what does philanthropy have to do with marketing? Well, I, I really think it does, because uh, you see at Chrysler and Fiat, we don't believe that having great features, great design, great technology is enough to connect to a consumer. Because uh, the consumer wants to know what the brand stands for. And the more meaningful, the more lasting it is. I happened to uh, discover it almost by accident. It was in 2008, I was at the time the CEO of Lancia, the smallest and most uh, Italian company of the group. And um, you know, we had the opportunity to partner with the Peace Nobel Laureate Summit. So maybe because I personally uh, related to a cause or maybe it was the idealistic Frenchman in me, uh, but I couldn't help divert some of my marketing money to make a statement, to create a video uh, with the Nobel laureates that was a plea uh, for the Burmese leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, to be set free. And uh, let me tell you, uh, this video in Europe connected us to the consumers more than any kind of traditional promotion of, or cup holder. Um, so I want to share it with you uh, today. By the way, the first time it was presented, exactly four years ago, um, it wasn't introduced by me. It was actually introduced by Bono. I don't believe I ever thanked you for that, Bono, but um, I know you weren't looking for thanks. It was about a cause, not about applause. So let's uh, roll the video, please. So this did a lot for the brand, sure, uh, but clearly it was not enough to get what we really wanted, uh, freedom for Mrs. Suu Kyi. So we kept repeating the message year after year. We ran spots like this one for three years uh, in a row. And uh, it finally worked because in 2010, the day the campaign was set on air, that day, I received a message from uh, Mrs. Uh, Suu Kyi's representative in Washington. He said, we won. Can you imagine this? Uh, she was set, set free the day we started airing uh, the campaign. Bottom line, the fourth campaign never ran. And uh, you know what's funny, by the way? For the first time in my life, I was absolutely delighted not to run a commercial. Then, uh, a few years later, I was uh, called to run our marketing also on the other side of the ocean, here uh, in, uh, in North America. And uh, clearly, the lessons learned in Europe gave me some leverage. So we, uh, with uh, the earthquake, when the earthquake hit uh, Haiti, 
and Sean Penn asked us uh, for some help, we sent uh, the Jeep brand to the suites of Haiti. Later in 2011, as um, Baba mentioned, uh, it was about addressing a different kind of earthquake, an econo economic one that uh, struck our home city, Detroit. So if Jeep could help rebuild Haiti, Chrysler had the duty to help rebuild Detroit. So we partnered uh, with an unlikely ambassador, Eminem, and uh, imported from Detroit a line uh, that I used in a speech in LA, became a tagline for a movement, for uh, a resurgence, for a city, an industry, a nation that won't quit. So those are examples of how we diverted marketing money to do more than just sell cars. So I was actually tempted to share each and every of those videos with you tonight, but since uh, Tina Brown would kill me and I'm not a hero, I uh, brought this little collage uh, for you. It's one minute. Can we roll the video, please? So, so th this is clearly a little mashup of uh, uh, several videos that we, we have been running to support various causes in uh, in the last two years, and uh, now the question is how do we continue this journey? How do we pay tribute as a corporation to heroes? Well, there is a brand in our portfolio that was, I guess, born for Nobel, noble missions. For Jeep, heroism is a brand attribute. It has a fundamental connection to the US military. It was built to free the world in uh, 1941. Uh, it has proven itself in efforts uh, to overcome the forces of evil as well as, as uh, forces of nature. And uh, it uh, not only shares its bond with the military and this nation's value, it is true to who we are as a corporation. It is guided by a mission that goes back to its very, its very birth in 1941. Play the video, please. So this is uh, an actual commercial which will um, uh, kick off a comprehensive Jeep initiative towards uh, true heroes, our returning troops. So we are going to make a contribution to those uh, who serve. And uh, this mission will run through uh, all next year. So Tina, I hope uh, you'll have us back next year so I can share uh, with this um, what this program will have done. But uh, this is for tomorrow, and uh, there are soldiers who need help today. So on behalf of the G brand, we are making a donation to the Hero Summit partners. There are five. Mission Continues, Team Rubicon, Student Veterans of America, the Congressional Medal of Honor Foundation, and Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund. We are giving money to those five worthy partners. But... Uh, we would also like to give recognition to a very special individual, an individual like Stephen Diaz. Stephen, I know you are somewhere there if you want to stand up. So Stephen uh, is one of Jeep's dear friend. Uh, he's a corporal from the US Marine Corps who dedicates his time in support of the Wounded Warrior Project. His project honors uh, and empowers wounded warriors and assists in dealing with both visible and invisible wounds. His efforts uh, make the world a better place for those who were injured trying to do the same. Thank you, Stephen. So because uh, for all the courage it takes to be deployed. Sometimes it takes courage to come home too. It's important that they know the home they left is waiting for them to return to it, that the family they left is waiting to be whole again, that the nation they left to serve is waiting to serve them with a welcome, with a thanks, with an open heart and open arms. There is a video. Okay, so I, I started with a question. Uh, what does philanthropy have to do with marketing? Well, I hope it's clear now that 
is not just a, a marketing tool to sell cars. Our reasons uh, go deeper. There is no doubt uh, that a certain level of prosperity is needed uh, to make business. And peace, as well as freedom, are the necessary ingredients for prosperity. And as a matter of fact, peace together with freedom is what true heroes are fighting for. So you know, uh, the lives of our corporations are traditionally based on our long-term business cases or business plans. So uh, I would finish with just two questions. Why wouldn't peace become part of corporations' long-term business plan? And uh, why wouldn't we invest in the heroes who fight for peace as part of uh, our long-term business plan? Thank you.